Hey there, this is Michelle Pesco Salido, and in today's training, we're going to talk about domain verification on Facebook. Now, most of you may not know exactly what that means and uh, why it should be important to you and your business, but um, I'm going to show you something that I've seen a lot of people experiencing, and a lot of people have been wondering why is this happening. So when, when you paste a URL um, on your fan page, oftentimes what happens is, is you're unable to actually change out the default image that's here, or maybe you don't like the title here or the meta tag just, uh, description that's down here, and you're stuck with what is already written there. Now, in the past, we were always able to just upload another image and change out this image here. Um, we were able to change out the um, title or the meta description, but Facebook actually blocked us from doing that, and so now we're no longer able to do that. But the way that you can do it now is by actually going through the domain verification process, which I'm actually going to show you how to do. So um, there is actually some information here on the, um, let's see, facebook.com. I'll actually post this link below, but it basically talks about verifying your domain in your business manager. So you're going to need, obviously, a Facebook fan page. You're going to need to have a business manager account when it comes to Facebook advertising, and you're going to be able to go through this process to actually create um, a domain verification so you can change those images. So let me just show you an example. So since I've got my domain verified, I can actually, I can actually click on Instagram contest, and I can change this out. So I can now say Instagram contest ideas to help you gain more followers. And so now I can actually change that. Um, and I can change this description down here also. I can even change up the image if I want to this time. So let's just say I go in here and um, I'll just upload a random image here. Now I can change that image. As you can see here, it's not big enough, but um, you can see that I'm able to change that image and Facebook's not forcing me to use the one that is attached to the actual blog post. So the only way that you're gonna be able to change this stuff is if you actually own the domain yourself. So I'm gonna walk you through the process of how to do that. Um, so what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to go into your business manager and you should be able to find that in your ads manager back office. And then over here on the left, if you go under business settings, so you'll wanna come up here, look at all the tools, you're gonna to wanna to go to business settings. And then from there, you're gonna to wanna to click on domains over here on the left. And then you're gonna to wanna to add a domain. So what I would do is I would click add, and I do have another domain, so I'm gonna go ahead and add that one. Dreams.com. And then I can actually add that domain right here. And then what's going to happen is, is you're going to get a couple of options here. So DNS verification is the one I'm going to show you here. It's really simple and easy to do. You're going to have to go into the actual site that hosts your domain. So in this instance, well, at least in the online wealth partner one, GoDaddy has it. Um, my vegan dreams. I'm not really sure. I'm going to look at that in a second, but what you're going to do is you're going to need this actual code or this TXT record to be more uh, professional about it, the appropriate words. You're going to need this little snippet right here. So you're going to want to go ahead and copy that. So the next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to go over into your hosting site. So here are my domains in GoDaddy. Um, and what I do here is once it's open up, this is going to be different for whoever, maybe you're through Bluehost or you're through HostGator or maybe you're through Namecheap or something like that. You're, you can find that in here. Um, in, in there, you need to find the actual DNS record. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to look for Online Wealth Partner since that's the one I already did. So I'm going to go over here. So these are my domains. I'm going to click on that. And then from there, I'm going to go to Manage DNS. And again, if you have trouble finding it, just message support or call the support team of the, you know, of the company that's hosting your domain. Then from there, what we're going to need to do is come down to Add, and we're going to click Add, and the type of record is the TXT record. As you can see right here, it says Add this TXT record. So we're going to copy that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to actually add in the ampersand here. You've got to add that in if it's not there already. And then you're going to paste that TXT value. And don't worry about the TTL here, but from there, all you got to do is click Save. Now, I've already done this. So once I clicked Save, you can see it showed up right here. 
And then what you're going to do is you're going to want to come back here and you're actually want to click verify, which is what I did on this one. And you can see that it's verified. So now I'm able to come in here and change out when I paste a URL from our blog or from a website that we own or a website that you own, you, again, you have to own the site yourself, then you can come in here and you can change out the title here, the description, and the images. So you have to own the domain to actually be able to do that. So I hope that helps you, um, you know, get your domain set up and get it verified. The next thing that you're going to want to do after that is once you have that domain there, you need to assign your pages to that so that those pages are going to be able to actually edit those blog posts. So I could come in here and I can add in any pages that I've actually added to my business manager. So I've already done this one, but I would click, you know, Michelle Pesco Salido and click save. And I could do, you know, the My Vegan Dreams fan page and click save. And then what you would see once I click save is if we click pages here under the domain, as you can see over here on the left, I'm able to actually, um, now go and post the URL onlinewealthpartner.com to the My Vegan Dreams page or to the Michelle Pesco Solito page. And I would have the ability to be able to change up that title, the image, and the description. So I hope, I hope this helps you um, set up this process. One other thing that I did want to show you, if you're not comfortable doing the text record that I just showed you how to do, um, what you can do is you can come over to the HTML file upload and you'll, what you'll want to do is go through these steps. You'll basically need to download this HTML verification file. Then you're going to want to go over to the root directory of that domain. So again, you're going to have to have some knowledge of how to access the root directory. And then you're going to want to upload that file that you just downloaded. And then basically from there, you'll just need to confirm that it's uploaded by visiting the URL here and then click verify. That's a little bit more technical. I didn't go through the process of that, but that's something that if you have someone managing your sites, you can also give them this information. Just give them this verification file, tell them to upload it to the root directory, and you can verify it that way. But what I just showed you, um, by doing it through the actual DNS verification process, you saw how super easy that was. It literally verified our domain right here within seconds once I clicked on down here to verify. So I hope this helps you and um, be sure to leave a comment if you have any questions or some suggestions and I'll see you in the next training video. Bye-bye.